on this video, I'm going to hit up a few more scriptures for uh, those people who still believe that everyone that's not of Israelite descent is going to be saved. So if the, if the only uh, world and people that are going to be saved by the Israelites are going to make it into the kingdom, then what are going to happen to those uh, heathen Gentiles that don't have, that aren't Israelites through their father's seed? Let's go to... Uh, all of Psalms chapter 49. Praise ye Yahweh. Sing unto Yahweh a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them praise unto him with the timbrel and harp. Salakia, brothers. For Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints, praise ye Yahweh. And then I'm going to go to Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And I'm going to hit it with one last scripture. Well, before I describe a little bit, Isaiah 49, 22 to 23. Thus saith the Lord Most High, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down, Slaki, they shall bow down to thee with their faces toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So as you can see, from the top down, all these other heathen nations will be made to serve the Israelites in the kingdom as slaves for about a thousand years of hardcore bondage, and then they'll be able to go into their kingdoms, make their, but they'll be following our laws and paying us tribute, except Esau, uh, the, the king of the heathens, the king of the wicked, who will be exterminated after a thousand years, so he won't have any, any say or... Uh, partaking in the land after that hundred after that slaki after that thousand years of bondage so brothers i hope this was an edifying lesson and sorry if it was a little rough but it should get better with each new sit down and before i go i'm gonna close it off with one more scripture to get you brothers pumped up to know that all these uh so-called great people in this world that you know they look down on uh the negroes latinos and native americans uh, behind the cameras that uh, they'll be made to lick our feet in the end. Revelations 13 and 9 through 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So all you brothers out there in the truth just need to hold out. And then soon we will be the new elite of the world and of the universe. So I'll end off this video by saying Shalom.